Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to a new video on this channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you all how to change the different weather conditions in Greenville. And keep in mind, you do need to own a private server to be able to do this. However, I thought I'd just make a video talking about it since a lot of people don't know that you can actually do this. So basically, for those of you guys who don't know, in the new Greenville update, Barkus ended up adding a sort of weather system. So basically the cloud formations actually change over time while you play. And there is actually a way to change these formations on the go while you're playing in private servers so anyways let's get straight into it so basically for those of you guys who don't know how private server commands actually work either you can go into the chat and put in a colon and then whatever the command is or you can do a backslash and then it will pop up with the greenville admin bar and then you can basically just do colon and then it's basically the exact same thing just that the chat won't be able to see what you're actually typing in but either way it works but just for the simplicity of this video i'm going to be using the backslash method so guys for the first weather command here we actually have colon weather space cloudy and when we enter this in the weather will actually start changing and also guys if you do change the weather too close to each other then it will actually say the weather is currently changing please try again in 20 seconds so basically you guys are actually unable to constantly change the weather you do have to wait a little bit in between but anyways trying that again here let's do colon weather and then cloudy and then that should change the weather over time to be more cloudy and also the weather doesn't instantly change as soon as you input the command it does actually take a little bit to do which i do quite like because it kind of keeps up that realism but yeah so basically this is what the cloudy sky actually looks like so it still looks somewhat sunny but it is a little bit more cloudy as you guys can see in some places and then guys the next command here is actually colon weather and then sunny so as you guys can tell they do all have this like sort of weather part at the start and then it's just literally the weather condition after but yeah basically you want to input that and then it should slowly start moving the clouds away and should make the skybox a lot more sunny looking so yeah as you guys can see the sunny formation still has some clouds in it obviously Obviously, but there's nowhere near as much as the cloudy formation and yeah it's honestly just a quite nice one and this is more or less like a neutral sort of weather condition that you'll most likely see in game and then guys for the final weather condition here we actually have weather space overcast and this has to be my favorite as a whole since this is going to be so cool for like rps and whatnot and as you guys can also see my lights did instantly turn on and also the street lights all turn on as well and yeah it's some super amazing attention to detail in my opinion even when you're changing it with commands how all the lights just quickly turn on since as you guys can tell it literally covers up the entire sky and makes everything like super foggy and whatnot. Yeah, this is amazing for RPs in my opinion, especially for if roleplay servers do like tornado RPs and whatnot. This is definitely going to bring that little bit more of the immersion into it, into them. But yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think about this in the comments below because I personally think this is sick. And when rain hopefully eventually comes to Greenville, it's hopefully going to be even better. And I honestly really do like this new weather transformation system since overall it just makes the game so much more realistic. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later and goodbye. Mm hmm.